Sully.
Pass that um that sheet there. Can you just put the sheet next to you? Alright guys, here we are. Final game of the day, round game four. And we've got the Cook Islands up against Samoa. So exciting stuff here. I'm looking forward to this game, one of the matchups of the, the game for the day. Samoa first position here in blue. From left to right, and we've got Cook Islands in white to green and yellow. Exciting there. Good start. Getting a nice rebound there. With the first 30 seconds. No score here at the moment. First quarter, this final game of the day. Second game of the men's. Local boy, Ono. Took it all with the first points of the game. A nice shot there from the local hero, number six. Bersamia Tikaro is his name. Well known in Kaitai as Ono. So two points to nil at the moment here. Cook Islands misses. Can Ono make it back to back? Just comes off the back there, rims up. 14 second shot clock resets. Samoa coming up with the rebounds and they'll go up court. Can they balance the ledger here to bring their scores level? They can do through number 10. Asking for the foul. Peter Taiti. Sorry, it's Cook Islands. So Sharif for Samoa. Comes up, levels the score two all with one minute 30 gone in the first quarter. Three point shot from number nine. Ono with the rebound. A floater over top of the big man. Ono. Bursamia Tikaroa for Kukalain scoring the first four points. So bringing the score to four points to two. Two minutes gone here. Foul called there by the referees on Samoa, number nine. <coughs> here we've got uh, the Cook Islands here bringing the ball, ball in bounds from backcourt. First personal foul there on the Samoan player. As we said earlier, so we've got Cook Islands in the white, yellow, and green strip from right to left on your screen, and Samoa in the blue. Traditional Samoa colour. And that could have been the first dunk, but we still have yet to have a dunk for the day, but a nice little tip in there to draw the scores level for all. There, so just stepping out of court there on the 
on the uh, sidelines here. So we have seen that a few times um, throughout this day, the first four games of the, the tournament. So something that the teams will have to adjust. And there's number 10 again, getting what he wanted last time. So he had a nice strong drive. Wanting the foul earlier on, never got it. But this time, Sharif from Samoa heads to the line for two shots. 7.21 left in the first quarter. getting a bit of feedback and delay through my mic here throughout this game. We'll look to fix that up. Number six, Ono. Just missing the floater there. Cook Island showing good patience with eight seconds left on the clock. And again, stepping out of court, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, the second line violation, stepping out of court here on the sideline with Cook Islands, turning the ball over. So we've got a 6-4 lead to Samoa at the moment. Four minutes gone. Three minutes gone, sorry. Three-point attempt. There's a nice basket there from the big number nine for Samoa. Oina. Again, apologies, um, as with the last few games, apologies if I get uh, pronounced these names wrong. First substitution for the Cook Islands, number 10, Peter coming off for number 11, Allen. And number one for Samoa there with a nice little steal. Wayne for Samoa taking it to a four point lead. Nice breakout, great pass, and a Euro trying to spin off the backboard, unlucky, so good composure shown there by the number nine for Samoa, not to foul, pulls out of the foul. And all great defense from the big number nine. Match up, match up. Travel. Travel called there from the referee. So we have six minutes, 10 left in the first quarter. We have a six point lead to Samoa over Cook Islands. 10 points to four. And another block from number nine. So Cook Islands may have to adjust their, their type of play there. We have a foul called. A couple of blocks there from the big number nine for Samoa. Enor, oh, sorry, Ina, Ina, Ina. Not great, not great on ball defense there from the uh, Cook Islands, just allowing the player to waltz on into the keyhole with a nice jumper. Lucky for Cook Islands that he. Missed it, here's number 10. Can we see her first dunk of the day? No. Nice, tight, sensible layup. Time out. So a great start for Samoa, and they're really happy with that with a 12 points to four. Cook Island starting really strong, but unfortunately for them, Samoa responds with 12 unanswered, unanswered points. So score with five minutes 34 left on the clock. Four points to 12, Samoa with a eight point lead. So early on in this uh, game, we've got number six. Um, Ono looking pretty strong there. Uh, number 29. Te Blue Gum, or T. And for Samoa, definitely number 10. Sharif is um, showing some great, great signs of um, attack for the Samoan team. And number 19, uh, the big tall timber. <laughs> so 
So I'm not sure where my co-pilot is. I can see him over there, but um, hopefully I'll be joined shortly with my partner in crime. Not know where to hear on the commentating, but we'll do my best to keep you all entertained somewhat throughout this broadcast. Our final game of the day. It's been an awesome day up here in the beautiful far north, Kaitai. We've got um, inbounds ball, so Samoa's come out of timeout with a full court press, and uh, Cook Islands have no trouble beating that. And here's number 29 with a nice layup, closing the gap for six points. Six points to 12. Five minutes 23 left in the first quarter. scoring that nice bear basket with the red shoes a few colorful shoes here we've got uh, here goes number 10 he's a thief in the night that's his third steal at half court and another and one so great work here from the Samoa number 10 Sharif Sharif Ahmed Saipaya Big welcome to all the whanau from all around the world watching the live streams here. We're into our fourth game here, second game of the men's. Uh, we had Tahiti Women's take out the first game of the day, then followed up by their uh, male counterparts, um, the men's, Tahiti taking the win, and followed by Cook Islands. So. Uh, two Tahitian W's on day one, along with the Cook Islands woman. So All right, so Samoa camping down this end of the court for a few few seconds. A couple of quick fouls for the Cooks. Uh, they are in foul trouble with five minutes left to go. So that's their fourth te team foul. Number 11 coming onto the court for uh, the Cooks. Alan. We introduced and we've got T coming off. It's second foul. Second foul for T from the Cook Islands. Yeah, Alan. Number ten is looking pretty outstanding here on court, Sharif for Samoa. Dominating the cook, so somebody's going to have to take control of him. What do you reckon, Papa? You on there? Yep. Uh, okay, yeah. Aroha mai. We got some, I was just talking about some flash shoes out there. We had some bright red, bright green, bright blue, bright purple. So this is pretty colourful stuff out there on court tonight. Mom. Haven't seen too much of that in the earlier games. Nice work there from number nine for the Cook Islands. Akira. It's a second really, really strong drive into the basket, so hasn't been able to come up with the goods. Oh, one all coming up with a steal, but throws it away, and number 10 again with a steal half court. He loves this half court. Number nine with the rebound. The big tall timber for the Samoan team, extending their lead. 2 11. 17 points to 6 with 4 minutes 17 left. Still early days today, and everyone's settling themselves out. Sorting themselves out, sorry. So, still Cook Island 6, Samoa 17. 5.2 seconds on the shot clock. Hmm. Some more grouping in there. Wanted to talk about things, keep the momentum going. And the subs coming in for Samoa. Number two coming off for Samoa. That is Devante. Coming in for Samoa for the first time is Marquiz. Number seven. For Marquiz. Marquiz. Number ten. Captain Peter. Tahiti making the first free throw for Cook Islands, taking it to a 10 point game, 7 points to 17. Back, back. Nice 
Nice rebound here from the Samoan number one, Wayne Seal, captain for the Samoan mm. team. So let's have a look, see what uh, Cook Islands are running. So it looks, it looks like a 3-2 zone. Yeah, so that was an offensive foul there on number nine mm. for the uh, Samoan team. So uh, that will bring them to three team fouls. So no, not in trouble just as yet. We've got three minutes 49 left in the first quarter. Ten point ball game, seven points to 17. Samoa leading by 10. There he is again, number 10 with his fifth style of steal of the game. Oh, good body, D. Yeah, yeah needed to get rid of that. Yeah, I think just a wee bit about number, what number was that? That um, number 10? Number 10. Yeah, he's just actually come in at the last minute to help out because some of the uh, boys, unfortunately, they're, uh, they're passing in regards to fever requirements. Never made it last night, so wow. he's had to come and jump in. So he is obviously with some of the travelling crew, or is he New Zealand uh, based? His, his wife is actually uh, a high-ranking member of the Cook Island Basketball Association. Oh wow, representing Samoa. Yeah. No, uh, sorry, uh, Cook Island Association. No, number 11, sorry, 11 for the Cook Islands. Oh, 11 mm. for Cook Islands, okay, mm. so yeah, mm. no, I was wondering, number 10 for Samoa. So yeah, 11 for the Cook Islands is Alan mm. Gipton. Yep. It's, um, oh, it's today. Yeah, so they had a couple of players ineligible last night. So mm. um, their main problem they're having at the moment is getting up cleanly up halfway. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get past <coughs> number ten, and he's mm. he's been um, subbed off at the moment for a rest. So he's had a good seven-minute stint with five steals and a few baskets. Great defense again, number eleven. Number eleven from this. Um, so throughout this day seems to be the lucky number for the defenders. Yeah. Quick feet, and here he goes again. Just watch those feet in the defense. Yeah. If you're a young player wanting to play good defense, this guy's doing it. Oh. Wow, this is uh, probably the fastest, most competitive game we've had of the day. Uh, both teams at it. Although the score's not showing it, it's a pretty even match. Okay. Rips are just coming together here mm. just to try and discuss what's going on. Again, we've got three referees here, so that's really, really great. Number six coming back on to the court for the Cook Islands for number 11. Number six, Bissamiya Tikaroa, so Uno. A local representative here from Kaitaia, represented his home country. Okay, so the hold up for the game is there, the timing. They never stop the clock. So okay, so yeah, we're just yeah. adding a bit of yeah. time onto the clock. Yeah. And a big round of applause for the big man as he comes off number nine for Samoa. He's done a great job. So either Ina or Ina. Viane Thompson. All right, so we're all back in action. We've got two minutes 34 on the clock. We have a 21 points to seven, so 14 point ball game. Lead to Samoa. There's a shot clock pressure there, so it's about three or four seconds on the shot clock. The 24 second shot clock will reset here. And we're having a few early on issues here. Okay, so two minutes 22 left on the clock. The shot clock's left at 21 seconds. Oh, nice little move there. Oh, oh can't finish the basket though. Good defense there by oh, the yeah. but unfortunately he's brought his hands forward. Number 10, captain, Peter Taiti. I thought that was actually good defense there, and yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was. That's uh, obviously, a second. yeah, they saw something we haven't. Yeah, that's the second personal foul. So um, mm. we're still in the first quarter. So they've got a couple on two. 
I, yeah. I would say they would need to sub the... Is he the captain? Number he 10? He is the captain, yeah. Just yeah. come back onto the court, actually. Oh, okay. The captain, Wayne. Uh, sorry, Peter. Mm. Representing the Cook Islands. And, yeah, here we go. We've got um, Alan back onto the bench for the Cook Islands. Probably, as Manu would have said, probably to sub on for the captain, Peter, just to protect mm. them throughout the next um, few minutes in this first quarter. the speed of this big number nine yeah, he's got some mm. uh, footwork and pace you, would, the mark. you wouldn't want to be in front of him not particularly no rugby, no <laughs> yeah, he's really quick off the mark that's his yeah. third really strong drive to the hoop unfortunately just couldn't and there's the off the ball he couldn't um control was that an offensive foul it was That's an me. offensive push off the ball and he could get himself in trouble Toby. here that could be his third foul too Ooh, okay Warning. warning. So that's Head up. Push. Yeah, so that's okay. nice. A good warning for him. But he'll need to come off shortly too if that's his third foul. Uh, possibly might only be just waiting for the uh, scorers to put the cards up. But mm. it's definitely a second. Mm. Oh, nice. Here's this number 11 with some quick footwork. Not only on defense, but he's showing great ability to drive through the lanes. Yeah. He's quite calm. Yeah, and there's a great move. Number three. Is that the first we've seen of number three? Egon from Samoa. Egon. Number five for three. Nice rebound. That's strong number nine. Just can't finish, but a great rebound again. And where's the foul's call? And the nice. referees yes. call a Good. foul. Number Good. nine will head to the line for two shots. So great work there. And number nine with four players around him had the patience to gather his thoughts and, and draw the foul. Unfortunately, just can't come up with the basket, but he heads to the line for two shots. So we're, we've got a quite a big advantage here to Samoa at the moment, 24 points to seven. But if you can make these shots, Helps out a lot with one minute 23 left on the first quarter. You know the advantages they pick are that our people up here in the far north in Kaitaia, especially our younger kids, can see what the quality of basketball can be. That's right. And uh, what they probably need to look <coughs> forward to. Yeah, awesome. and the, the effort that it takes to compete at this level. Mm. You know, it's um, definitely a level that a lot of players wouldn't have seen yep. much of, if any at all. So again, we're really grateful and blessed to have this um, quality basketball up here in the final. Good Almost dive for the ball. Nice. Nice. Good nice. Stuff there from the uh, Cook Islands number 11, Alan. Oh, that boy can move all right at number nine. Oh, oh another steal. Oh, and that's going to be a foul. And oh. Not an intentional, pretty pretty yeah. clumsy from the number nine, but mm. um, I mean, yeah, he's putting his body on the line, trying to win, he's made a mistake, and he's um, made another mistake by um, diving at the leg, so it's not, not nice to see, and um, I'm very, very grateful and glad that our Samoan Fano didn't get involved and, yep. and create some sort of scene. Now, number 11's up, he's, he's up and walking around, so that's good to see as well. Another... Very strong player to watch. The referee's just um, checking what sort of foul they're going to call this. Mm. Again, Samoa showing a lot of brotherhood, gathering nice and tight. Followed suit by the Cookies. Okay. So just a, a standard foul call there, Manuita. Pardon? Nothing other than a foul? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's... That's good, and just there. Yeah. Yeah. They're in shooting. They're in shooting trouble anyway, and they foul are. trouble. Yep. Oh no, no, it must be a uh, uh, maybe an unsportsmanship foul. So two shots here, position halfway. Yep. This is the uh, first. One minute left in the first quarter. Uh, Twenty-four points to nine mm. to Samoa over Cook Islands. Makes a second. 
So yeah, some will get positioned sort of front court here. So it must have been unsportsmanlike. Number 11 is just going to come off for a bit of a rest just to check out his leg, make sure he's doing okay. A little bit of a limp. Chin that ball. Oh. Nice, nice tip there. Good, Good urgency from number eight for the Cook Islands. We haven't said his name too much, but that's Anthony Ikemutu. An awesome hustle there from the number eight. Again, not the tallest player on the court, but um, showing some great athleticism to get up there and um, contest that ball. So right here, I'd, I'd just double D uh, instead of marking the inbounder. All right, bit of rough argy-bargy stuff going on there between eight and one in the Cook Island and Salmon team. Oh. Yeah, charge, uh, push off the offensive foul there. So that's cool. Uh, Cook Island's ball, number, number eight for Samoa, called for the foul. I just want to say, um, also, Picker, how grateful I am anyway to see that all our lights are working. So this has been great for uh, to see this game. Yeah. You know? No, it's, it, it is, it's really fantastic. Um, our stadium up here at Te Rangiani Wanewa is looking really nice. And that's oh, oh, the local, no. local hero there from Kaitai, number six, almost getting the... Oh, they loader. got it back again. Here's here we go. feet number nine. Here's Ono for the pull-up jumper. Oh, just comes off the back of the room. And there's our... Oh, nice. Oh. Big man has got it. Big yep. man's got it. Number nine. Quick feet. So I was just going to say the massive leap. Did you see the height that number eight got? He has a it's explosive amazing. power. Number eight, Anthony Ikamutu, with an amazing mm. leap to mm. freak out of the ball for his mate. Number nine. Bringing them closer. 14-point game. First quarter. 25 points to 11. Samoa leading the Cook Islands. Mm. Now, how come we haven't seen much of 29 for Cook Islands? Is he uh, in foul I think trouble? 29 was the one that was in two fouls oh, early okay. on in the first quarter, so he's another one of their strong players. He's their big. Uh, we've lost our DJ here. Oh, okay. So we might have to get I'm too scared to titter around with that. Tap a, tap a shoulder to get us some in house music. Do you girls know how to work that? Play music? <coughs> Where's Kelly? She's supposed to have the music. All right, so we're just trying to organise a bit of in-house music. Probably not. Probably not right now. No, we've got one minute left now. Sorry. All right, for those of you that are viewing at home, sorry about all that. Um, yeah, so we've got one minute, minute left between the first and second quarter. It's been an exciting game. The score's uh, probably not a, a real reflection of the game in my eyes, but some more definitely deserving the, um, the lead that they have here. I think it is 24 points to 11. This is the referee is covering the score there. Maybe 25-11. 25-11. Thank you very much. All right, so we've got 20 seconds on the court again. We've got uh, Samoa on first. And again, big shout out to our uh, young Kotaro from Kota Basketball Station taking care of the cleaning in between quarters and any body on the floors cleaning up keeping it safe for all our players it's the um, most important thing here at this um, international competition it's making sure we get all these players through this entire week and without too much serious bumps and bruises all right Cook Islands position heading right to left Just gonna hold up here. Not sure, we're just getting waiting for the stats to be updated. Here we are. So we're back on here. Nine minutes fifty-nine left. Oh, there's another steal from the Samoan. They really love this halfway line, and there's our nice. first okay. dunk of the competition by number two. Nine 
9.35. Other than that, we've got um, some visitors at the desk here trying to ask us questions. Number nine here for Cook Island heading up the court with a nice push off to number 29. And unfortunately, the Samoan defender um, landed on top of the player. So that's a foul in number 29. May head to the line. No. Baseline ball. A nice deep three pointer there from number 29. Unfortunately, just hits the front of the rim. So the rim's out there. Some more come up position. Number 10 is back on the court here again for some more. And that's a little bit too easy there. So. Cook Islands will be looking to um, pick up on defense here. There's the captain, Peter, with a nice high float over top of the number nine. Oh. And um, someone keeping our young girls awake there, having a bit of a chit chat in the background there, not watching the ball. Nearly got a falcon, but luckily enough for them, they managed to dodge it. Number 29 again for the three. Oh, oh no, nearly get the rebound. It's Peter with the flake and another block there from the big number nine. Oh, and that could be called a blocking foul from the Samoan number one. And nice uh, sportsmanship there. Bit of a pat on the back from number 29. He gets up, he's okay. A couple of bodies hitting the floor pretty hard. <laughs> number 10, off ball foul. That's uh, Peter's number four. Uh, number three, sorry. That's the captain's number third foul, so he's um, subbing off pretty quickly. Mm. Yeah, so uh, Cook Island's just getting asked to make sure you bring them to the bench before you jump on, so uh, they'll be looking to tidy that up moving forward. Drawing the foul again, number 29 with a nice fake. Nice and low and draws contact. So he'll head to the line for two shots. A nice pass from half court from uh, number six, Ono, for Cook Island. He seems to have blended in well with the Cook Island team, you know, not knowing them or anything like that. Um, no, just meeting them all um, just three days ago. So mm -hmm. um, had a couple of trainings. Um, we actually had a game against the Cook Islands on Thursday night, I believe. I think it was, or Friday. One night, maybe Sunday. Can't keep up with all the nights. But um, yeah, he actually played for the local team um, against his home nation. So um, gave up that opportunity to have a run. But um, yeah, both teams only had five players. So Nice. Oh, how about cool voice? Box out. Box out, Cook Islanders. And there's a three-pointer. I was just going to say number 10 has gone a bit quiet for uh, the Samoan team, but there he goes. He's popping up threes. Sharif for Samoa. He'll be our top scorer, our leading scorer into this, um, getting into this uh, second quarter. See, one of the problems there with the uh, Cook Island team is that when people go to set a screen, they're, they're too far away to be effective in the screen. Uh, poor old number nine had to do all that work. No screen there to work on, and that's what happens. There's a deep three from number five. Number five, Toby Bland. Bland for the Cook Islands. Stay in the middle, Alice. Stay in the middle, Alice. 
Hands up. Good job, Alan. Hands up. Hands. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. And oh, nice. Another three-pointer from Samoa, taking the lead out quite some way. That's Hiram. Hiram. 35 points to 12. There's seven minutes left in the second quarter. Um, let's just hope that the Cook Islands can uh, bring this one back. Actually, Nine's drawing a lot of fouls out of Samoa, which is, yeah. you know, he's doing his job. Yeah, that, that was an off, off ball hold by number two there. So, mm. um, Samoa's um, similar, similar foul to the American Samoa's early on in the first game. A lot of off ball fouls. I'm not sure what's um, creating that in this game. But yeah, as I say, number nine's really quick on the feet and gets through, explodes through those gaps really, really quick. Um, hence the reason why he's um, drawing lots of fouls. So uh, some more in foul trouble at the moment. So Cook Islands will hit the line for two shots, number 29. It's T at the line here. Cook Islands with the nice bright red shoes. Te roku rangi. Te roku. Te roku rangi. Blue, blue gum. Cool. Here's our number 10 again. That was a good example of power under the hoop. Held the ball in his hand and then took it off. All right, so we've got number eight coming back into the um, ground here, Anthony. Coming on for um, the first rest for number nine, Akira. So Akira has been a really strength for this um, mm. Cook Islands team, so it'd be yeah. quite, really important to have a 30 seconds or so. Rest, get some water, get rid of a bit of uh, sweat, and get back out on the court because he is a key player for this team. Number eight's like a little ninja in the night. He went boosting off down court. I don't know if you see that on the screen, but boosting off down court for the fast break, realized that his team had lost position and shot back and got in front of the ball. So it was great work. Here he is. 18 second rest. Nice. It's so, so giving number 29 a quick rest. So, Terukudangi coming off for the Cook Islands. Nice shot, number 10 at the line for Samoa, Sharif. score at the moment if you can't see is 38 points to 12 make that 39 points six minutes 11 left so quite an extensive 27 point lead here for the Samoans and that's Onor from three just rimming in and out and here's number 10 with another turn of position and a nice fake euro side left hand layup and competitive work there by the number two and number five Hustling for that ball. Oh, no look pass. It was pretty sharp, but the um, ninja in the night, number eight, packed it off and nearly stole it from his op opposing player. Samoa, with all that effort uh, from the Cooks, Samoa get regained position from baseline, holding quite a big lead here. 29 point lead, 12 points to 41, 5 minutes 33 left, and we have a timeout here. So manager Bree heading to the bench. So 
But yeah, it's um, a little bit quiet. I think we need some cheerleaders to be running around <laughs> Manawira and get the crowd going. I think it's uh, time of the night, brother. Yeah, it's been a long day. What is our um, time? Eight, just after seven minutes past eight, uh, Aotearoa time here. So yeah, we have five minutes left in the first half, 41 points to 12. Mm. Samoa holding quite a big lead, so that could contribute to the... Um, so what, what would you crowd. be doing, Picker, you know, if you were Team uh, Cook Islands? Well, it's hard to what say. I'd it? be wanting to put a lot of pressure on them, but mm. given that the Samoans are so good and so quick bringing the ball mm. up, it would be hard mm. to try and try and upset them, but possibly just try and put all your eggs in one basket, full-court press, I'm, um, hope yeah. for a bit of turnovers, um, I'm draw and try and... Obviously, they're in foul trouble, so... Um, I'm just wondering why the they're not getting their fair share of the rebound. So that's uh, the thing. So we're either not boxing out properly or we're a wee bit tentative and going in there to box out. Mm. Yeah, like even then. Oh, look at that. No yes. look yep. pass from the sharp number 11 again. Beautiful pass. Someone adding two points to their lead. 43-12. Oh, and we're losing position there. Again, just clumsy. Not, nothing mm. seriously intentional there, I believe. Um, yeah, it was good contact yeah. at the end of the day. He's not a small unit, number seven. Mm. He's got muscles upon muscles. Number seven for Samoa is the Mark Wizzy. Or Mark Weiss. Number five of the line here, Toby, for Cook Islands, adding extra points, 13 points to 43. Brings it down to a 30-point ball game. Again, like the other games, um, the momentum changes can happen. So um, if Cook Islands can keep ticking the scoreboard over, keep drawing fouls for the Samoa team, I believe they can definitely come back into it. Um, it's going to take a huge effort. There's a Samoa... Um, they look sharp, don't they, Manuela? Yeah, very. I look forward to the Tahiti, Tahiti Samoan game later on down the week. I think there's been a good example of uh, here of both teams, but especially the Cook Islands not chinning the ball properly okay. and pivoting. Yeah, yeah, they're just holding, bringing it into their chest and elbows down and not uh, clearing out their cylinder space, so, yep. Oh, oh nice leap. Oh, gee. Again, just um, awareness of where their players are. Good set plays. Mm. Um, and number one, getting so far off the ground above everyone else. By the time anyone could think nice. he was that quick. Open. Uh, nobody could get on him, but... Uh, oh, travel, great, travel there. Great play. Great play there from the Cook Islands, but just couldn't make it sink. And then um, in return, Samoa mm. with a quick transition, but unfortunately, number one travelling. Go, right, go back. There you go. Number seven with the points there for Samoa. Makwizi. Nice pass there from uh, number six. Mm. Unfortunately, number nine couldn't finish, but then back to number six again. So, all in all. And um, Samoa just playing oh. a really free flowing game here, and they're just passing up court with ease. So unfortunately, for the cookies, if they can't um, find a second or third gear, they're going to find themselves on the back of. There was an excellent Euro step there by number two for Samoa. Awesome. Executed that uh, to the T. Yeah, we've got number 10 again. The captain, Keta, coming back into the court. Uh, for number 11, so Alan for uh, Cook Islands coming off for a rest. So coach Trent Adam, is that correct? 
No. Uh, that's who it is on there, but that's no. not him. scored a 16 points and that's um great to see um Manuera, mm. you've had the pleasure of um, coaching this guy and i've always rated him watching him throughout our men's competition and also mix that he is um definitely a talented player oh yeah definitely um but uh, when you know when he's on a roll though he's really hard to stop you know he's got a hot hand especially yeah seems to position himself and uh, he seems to know where his shooting spots are but I, I guess there's not enough continuity at the moment mm. for him to be as effective as he could be. Yeah, I've always found him like um, very cool headed, like doesn't get involved in too much of the yep. annoyments and, and very humble and very respectful. I've ref a lot of his games and also been played a few games in his team and against him and always, always enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, just um, having him up mm. in our community and, and playing in amongst all our other men in Kaitai has been really great. And now he's got his opportunity on the international stage, yep. um, representing mm. his home country, Cook Islands, and it's amazing. Because um, yeah, if the Cooks can qualify top two, he'll be um, heading off overseas to the second qualifier. So pretty exciting. So if you watch a Samoa, whether it's the left side or right side, oh. They'll, uh, they'll try and drive to the deep corners on either side and bring it straight back to the middle up the top. And they'll either shoot it there or then, or otherwise swing it to the opposite side. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's another quite a nasty, nasty little foul, but again, not, mm. not intentional. Just 100% commitment by little number eight. And, um, yeah, he just unfortunately collided pretty dangerously. Uh, but yeah, number 11 again, he's in the he's in the battlefield. Mm. He's got up, he's hitting the line, just misses the first one. But they um, they can't afford to miss it at this stage. But gets the second one. Important one for the second. 52 points to 16, three minutes left in the first half. Um, I, think, um, I think the other thing, the challenge that we're facing here, uh, especially with the Cooks, they're not, uh, their outside wingers aren't going deep enough down into the deep corners. They're only going up to maybe the top of the keyway where the foul line is. And so it's, they sort of lessen their opportunities to be able to penetrate either side cutting into the keyway. Yeah, so they're not dragging those um, bottom defenders out far That's enough right, or yeah. down low enough. For no, there's no gaps. A, a mm. bit of space inside that front of the keyhole. Mm. So. Another bit of useful information talking about local players, the coach for um, Cook Islands. I had the pleasure of watching him down at uh, Hoop Nations last week. Um, and had Te Haurua, Oh, um, yep. Was playing with him. So the coach is a representative for the Otago Nuggets. Nice. So he plays in the NBL. So, um, yeah, a big shout out if Haurua is watching. Um, yeah, proud of you. Watched you play in that final for the men's down at Hoop Nations. Unfortunately, you guys took a bit of a hiding but um yeah it was, it was really good to watch him and mixing it amongst the best and that's a, a young kid from Kaitaia grew up um Pukimiro. big shout out to the kura up at Pukimiro who are all here this morning su yep. supporting the Tahitians they were happy and it was good to see the Tahitians uh, showing their aroha back to them by having a photo with all the kura yeah that was really nice mm. a good touch And um, yeah, going back to the coach for the Nuggets, he's, um, if you look on Hoop Nations, you'll see a lot of highlights from him of the two hand, two hand dunks, a couple of windmills, and very entertaining player. And lovely to watch, and um, it's good to see him here giving back um, to the players and, and yep. the whanau from Cook Island. So obviously, um, isn't the original coach for the team, so 
with the names on the on the bench, so he must have been pulled in at late yep. notice. So yep. awesome, good on him. I think it's been a situation for a couple of the teams too. Oh, nice, nice, nice three pointer by number eleven for Samoa. So De Heis, De Heis, I think, yep. or De Heisey. There's number eight for three, and ah. three flies with his own three pointer. So here he is again. The high C. Shootout. Someone's got a shootout to them. Oh. oh, nice step through there from the lanky number 12. Did some tall limbs and just glided through there. It's low yeah. motion. Yep. Cook Lines needing to balance up on their offense and go into yeah, looking, dead corners. Looking really um, they're too bunched. Clustered at the moment. Mm. Here's our speedy number nine with a quick feet. Back out two from two, is it? Oh, we need a few more of those Nelly. for the drop, but um, yeah, good on number eight, having mm. another shot there. Yep. Can't blame him for that. What um, Cook Islands have probably done a little bit more of is um, rushing their shots and not using the 24 second clock, but I mean, when you've got one three pointer, you want to back that up pretty quickly with a second, so you can't really blame him for that. Number eight. So both teams with one minute 26 left with both on five fouls. So some more heading to the line for two shots. The score at the moment with 126 left in the first half. It's a big high scoring game, 55-21. Just looking around the stadium, Manu, there's some people that have been here for a very, very long time. All day. <laughs> from probably 6 or 7 a.m. this morning and what are we now we're probably around 8 o'clock 8 30. yep um, so yeah big 12 14 hour days for some of our um, supporters and staff and volunteers so a big shout out to them um, hopefully once all this is done and dusted tonight they can get a rest because um, get a good sleep tonight because there's another four days to go yeah some teams I don't know who they are but they have uh, they get a buy as well So I believe uh, Tonga men have hit the break today and the Samoan women have had the buys today. Oh, okay. So we haven't seen them so far today. So here's number nine. So I'm really impressed with this number nine for the Cook Islands. He just hasn't given up all day. He's trying. That's another elbow. And a nice, yep. Grab and... Um, yeah, good tough defense from the mm. number 11. He's not the biggest guy on the field, on the court, sorry, but um, yeah, going toe to toe he, with the big number nine. Yeah, he is definitely using his body to the best of his ability. Yes. Yeah. And that's Akira on the line for two shots. Number 11 coming off for Samoa, but what a replacement. Yep. Um, number 10. So number I like, 11. like those purple shoes, brother. Purple haze. Oh. Let's carry on. <laughs> All right, it's a nice color shoes here from number nine. Yep, got one of those too. All right, so we've got a 22 points to 56 game here. One minute left. Final oh, minute of the nice, half. Nice, nice floater there. So by number more. ten. Double up the score by scoring oh, a two. hurry up and get it over. We've got two more seconds. Yeah, and they, oh, oh, unlucky. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go, let's go. So um, I'm, I'm also noticing, you know, Cook Islands are normally really, really happy, smiley people. So I'm just mm. noticing a little bit of body language out here on the court. So they're not not too happy. So maybe if they could pick up the spirits and, and get a bit of enjoyment. I mean, it's not always enjoyable when you're playing against players like that number 10. But um, yeah, enjoy the moments. It is a serious occasion and there's a lot on the line. And it's a nice oh, draw and just things aren't, the rubber, the green aren't going their way at the moment. So another straight pass. Look promising. I, I do know that there's three boys that could have been playing. Uh, two of them are on the bench now, even though they're not playing, and one is 
was sitting in the stand. So, unfortunately, the qualification to actually participate uh, hasn't been deemed uh, enough yep. for what they've given. So. so that brings us to the end of the first half, guys. We've mm. got um, 60 points to 22, so quite a substantial 38-point lead here to Samoa mm. over Cook Island. So we'll be yep. back in about 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, we'll go second half again. Like the other games, they've had three, two other blowouts, and they've um, closed the gaps after the first half. So yep. we'll look forward to Cook Islands coming in, regathering all their thoughts, get some plays together, and coming back out into the second half. So we'll catch you back here in about uh, 12 minutes. Yep. Okay. Kia ora whanau.
Thank you. 
guys, we're back here again. So we've got about uh, 50 seconds left in the halftime break here. We're going to head back into the third quarter. Uh, on court at the moment, we've put our uh, Cook Islands team. So score, halftime score at the moment is 62-22. Uh, and scorers, um, top scorers for uh, Cook Islands, number seven, uh, number nine, sorry, Akira. So I've mentioned him many times, the fast feet, purple shoes uh, for the Cook Islands. Followed closely by number six, a hometown hero, Kai Tyers, one and only. Bissamia Tukaroa, so Ono, known by all his friends and family up here in Kaitaia. So yeah, that's awesome to see up here. Um, we've got yeah, local talent mixing it up amongst the best around the islands, Pacific Nations. So. And, um, what a start from the Samoan number two with a great kiss off the backboard. Um, and bringing us to the top scorers, number 10, of course, number 10, 17 points, Shari for the Samoan, topping the scoring at the moment, leading the way, and we saw that with the steals, almost coming up with another steal there, so really quick arms uh, reaching around. And a wild pass there, so hopefully the Cook Islands can um, make them pay. And there's some foul coming in from the three Samoan guys, number 10, Bush. So that will be Sharif's first foul of the game, according to our stats. So following uh, Sharif of 17 points for the Samoan team, number seven, Makusi, on eight points. So uh, again, um, the team leading the scoring has got a huge mix of um, point scorers here. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten of the players scoring sharing four or five points each so um, it's been the um, been the feature of the day really with, with the teams they've got plenty of scorers that are leading the games here's the number 10 with a beautiful spin move gets caught on the way through drawing the foul number five and that's no good number five toby well it's just a second so in foul trouble for uh, Cook Islands is number 10, Peter. So that's your captain. Uh, no one else, everyone else just on one. Sorry, we've got um, number 29, T. Uh, so, Te Roku Rangi. Number 29, he's on three fouls. And for the Samoan team, we've got five on two fouls. So nobody in foul trouble for the Samoan team as we head into the third quarter. So we'll keep going on the game. A nice little dish out to the number eight, back to 29. Nice fake with a good stride. And T finishes the basket. So scoring for the Cook Islands, closing the gap a little bit. 25-67, uh, one minute 30 gone in the third quarter. Travel call there. So yeah, good couple of positions here from the Cooks on defense. Uh, so again, what we've seen with the team trailing by quite a bit at half time have gone into the changing sheds and had some good team talk so it seems to be working as yet uh, just at the start of this third quarter so I'm just hoping that they can um, make some of these baskets count a late call there number nine so the big tall timber for the Samoan team uh, Ina or Aina to the Samoan player. It's good defense from the big number nine. Putting a lot of pressure, but number one getting over top. A nice little basket there from the Samoan number one, Wayne Seal, the captain for the Samoan team. And a nice, nice little floater there as he's falling from number nine. 
Akira. Break down the lane. Nice little finger roll into the basket. So uh, Samoa early on in this third quarter pushed themselves into the 70s. 71 points to 28, and there's another beautiful pass from the Samoa player. And we have a timeout here with three minutes gone in the third quarter. We have 73 points to 28 lead to the Samoa team over the Cook Islands. So again, just some um, wonderful passing and um, transition, quick transition from the Samoan team, getting the ball up court really, really quickly, just catching the um, Cook Islands off guard a couple of times there. Um, so they'll be regathering their thoughts. Try and put some, implement something into play to try and um, counter the speed of uh, the Samoan. Um, yeah, the Cook Islands getting to the paint quite regularly but just can't can't finish off the job. So again another day. Some of those shots would go in, this game would be a lot closer. Um, so yeah. Six minutes fifty nine left in the third quarter. Just looking around for me mate. Oh there he is, I can see my co pilot. He's had a big day uh, big raps to uh, Manuera he's been working tirelessly to get this thing up and running, get it all sorted and answering a thousand questions every hour. Uh, but he does have a nice, a big um, support crew, so big ups to them too. He's got Ono with the steal. Nice composure there and a nice pass back from number six. Pushes out to number eight, just can't control the ball, so he's looking to put up a nice quick three. We've got five seconds on the shot clock, and there's Ono off the backboard, just kisses off the front of the rim. And he's just number 11 again. Took a few big tumbles earlier on in the first half. Travel called there, so another turnover from the Cook Islands team. Six minute 14 left on the third quarter. Number five there, Toby from Cook Islands with the ball, just passes out to number six, Ono. Big high rainbow shot from number six. Not missing by much the Cook Islands, they're, they're getting close. Just not sinking. Someone number three there. Egon. Nice work there from T, number 29. hustle there and um, Cook Islands here just struggling to get their own rebounds or the sorry the defensive rebounds here so Samoa having a bit of joy in there so it's something that they have to pick up with the Cook Islands and um, their big man Peter unfortunately on um, four fouls so he's unable to participate at this stage a deep three from number 11 
three-point shot there from the Samoan player. Nice work there from the number nine, Cook Islands, protecting the ball with the body and drawing the foul from the Samoan player. Side ball, Cook Islands. All right, we've got four minutes, 47 left on the third quarter in the third quarter so it's a 30 points to 77 47 point ball game can't sink the basket. Nice step there from number nine. Unfortunately, the Cook Islands just fumbling the ball there down in the deep corner. Oh, three-point shot there from the number seven, Makwisi. Hung out wide again, so another break there for the Cook Islands team. That would be their second timeout in this quarter. Uh, the Cook Islands team looking a little bit gassed here. They're only got the bare minimum players. I think we got six or seven, so um, unfortunately losing a couple of players, two or three players that weren't eligible overnight, so devastating for the Cook Islands team. Um, however, they are here competing. They are competing well. Um, Samoa has turned up to play in a really neat team. Fifty-two, oh, sorry, 82 points to 30 here. Three minutes 34 left in the third quarter. Samoa leading over the Cook Islands. Our fourth game of the day. So we've had uh, two women's games and this is our second of our men's. So the first game of the day was taken out by uh, Tahiti, women's over Tonga. Uh, second game of the day. American Samoa going down to Tahiti. And the Cook Islands woman winning over American Samoa. So, a couple of wins for the Tahiti team of men's and women's with two dubs today. And our Cook Islands woman uh, winning over the American Samoa. So, looks like the Cook Islands will go into day two with one win, one loss, as does the American Samoa. Samoa will go into the day with one win. And Tahiti will go in with two wins. So, I mean, the game's not over yet. We've still got 13 minutes, but a uh, 52 point ball game. Um, it's uh, safe to say that the game's well within the reach at the moment. Oh, well out of reach. We're shooting like that. Number seven, confident from the three point line. It'll take some effort from the Cook Islands crew. Just the basket's just not sinking, so um, they'll regather. They'll come back strong tomorrow. games up here uh, tomorrow. Starting at 12 o'clock we've got American Samoa up against Tahiti, the women's and as we see a beautiful three point shot there from number 29T. And our second game up tomorrow at 2.30 will be the women's Tonga versus Samoa. And then we have the men's back to back will be Samoa versus American Samoa and Cook Islands versus Tonga. 
So four more great games for you tomorrow, starting from 12 o'clock, 2.30, 5 o'clock and 7.30. Game slowed down somewhat here, so we're just not getting too many scoring opportunities. Um, Samoa just having some fun, shooting some threes and um, bringing the bench up off their feet. Big cheers from the crowd, number five. Keith, getting some minutes here. So a nice three-point shot there from uh, number five. Coming in off the bench is Allen, number 11 for Cook Islands. Giving T a rest, number 29 for the Cook Islands. Number 10. Another nice little spin move, a windmill move. To a finger roll there from number 10. Sharif. Standout player for Samoa by a long way here. Up in the mid 20s in the scoring. Very tidy, tidy player, also. Like for a player that steals the ball so many times to have only one foul um, shows he's got great technique, great footwork. Gimpton from the Cook Islands team, number 11. Missed the first free throw. Makes the second. 35-87. Misses the third attempt. So Samoa will get the ball. A nice Euro from number 10 with a huge Spin off the top of the backboard. Nice move. And they're given, trying to repay the favour, number five, with a great Euro step in South Toby. Unable to finish the, finish the basket. Number 10 again, having a bit of fun with some sides, side step floaters. If that's even a name. Now this game could open up now that both teams are Giving up on defense, but just having a bit of fun on offense. Beautiful pass from number 10. Number 11 just can't make the basket. And we've seen some high, high tempo skill level here from the Samoan team. Late in the stages with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. It's a 91-35 Samoa leading Cook Islands. seconds left on the clock. Number 10 looking to go to work there. Unable to draw the foul. Misses the basket and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. So a bit of, bit of fancy work there from both teams leading into the end of that third quarter. We've got a couple of minutes break here. And um, we'll head into the final quarter. The score at the moment is 91 points to Samoa, 35 Cook Islands.
So good. Both back on here. Breathe. All right. All right, we're back here to the start of the fourth quarter. We've got some stats here. So leading the scoring for the cookies, number nine and number 29, both sharing 11 points each. Uh, Akira and T. And steaming ahead into the 20s, number 10 for Samoa, leading the scoring with 23 points. Followed by number seven, Makwizi, 11. And closely followed by number one, Wayne. So Wayne Sio, the captain, with a couple of those quick, um, quick breaks. Fast breaks there. Samoa with full cook, uh, some good pressure there. Number 10 spinning off the back of the rim. Come up, he's jumped up well. Set it, set it. Oh, more fast hands from number five, uh, number 10. Another steal. I'd love to see his steal stats. I can see them because they're right in front of me. Number showing four steals, four turnovers, four assists for the number 10 for Samoa. So maybe I'm getting a little bit excited. Seems like a lot more turnovers than that. Good block there from a couple of the uh, Samoan players. And there's number one there, just to push the score out. And Seal, sorry, Wayne Seal, captain for Samoa, just overtaking his counterpart. Teammate number seven. The referee's just having a chat with the uh, coach. I All think sorted, thumbs up. I think uh, oh, there's uh, number six for Cook Islands. Nice pass, good look upstairs, up front. Sorry, number ten Peter with a nice fake. Just couldn't get through the arms, the big arms of the tall number nine. We haven't seen him for a while, but he's back on the court. Akira, no, that's number nine for uh, the Cookies. So number nine for Samoa is Ina. Oh, another one of those beautiful. 10 or 15 metre passes up court through the defenders. Unfortunately, Samoa couldn't take control of that. So, yeah, number nine is Inor for the uh, Samoa team. Big tall timber. Oh, the uh, Cook Islands player hitting the ground really hard there. So, hopefully, we'll get a few bumps and bruises. We'll put some ice on that so he's okay for the next few games. And another foul called by the referee on number one for Samoa. So Captain Wayne Sio heading to the line for two shots. And number 10 coming off for a rest and now quick feet number 11 coming back onto the court. The high C. Uh, Captain Wayne Seo unable to make that first free throw. So we've got a 99 point to 35 score at the moment with 8 minutes 24 left in the game. Yeah. 
Nice float over top of the tall player. T, number 29 for the Cook Islands, extending his lead. And it follows that up with a nice block here. Underneath the basket. That'll be Samoa's ball baseline. there from the number 11 for Samoa. Felt like he was in the air for a, a long period of time. Travel call there on the number 8 for the Cook Islands. Unfortunately turning the ball over and Samoa will head back up court again to try and extend this lead. Sitting at 100 points to 37 with uh, 7 minutes 30 left. And we've got Toby up off the bench again heading in for the Cookies. Deep 3 from number 1. Hits the front of the rim unable to Make that count, the captain Wayne Seal for some more. Another turnover here, here goes the captain. Body contact, great technique. Unfortunately going baseline, so great work there from the speedy number nine for the cookies. Hustling back on defense with a 63 point deficit at the moment. He's still giving it his all, so Great effort there from the Cook Islands number nine, Akira. Here's Toby with the ball, number five. Bit of a wild pass there, unfortunately. Showing a bit of fatigue. Possibly been a tough game here first up for the Cook Island uh, men. They've uh, come up against a really sharp Samoan team. And a couple of subs coming in for Samoa, so... Number four and number nine have an arrest for eight and seven. Oh, nice three there from deep. The high C, number 11. Bringing his uh, score into triple double figures. Nice pass off to Ono, number six. Pesami. Pesamiya. And uh, yeah, we've got Samoa just scoring at will at the moment, just having some fun. Nice work there from the 29, splitting the players, throwing the foul. It's good to see the Cook Island uh, players still giving it their all. Right up until the last minute. So we've got 6 minutes 20 left. There's a long time left in this quarter game. But again, we've got, got a feel for the Cook Islanders. They've got two on the bench. So, um, yeah, really going to feel it. Going deep into this tournament. Hopefully maybe join with one or two more players tomorrow. Tomorrow night or the following day. Oh, quite a strong collision there. Uh, number seven hitting the uh, bleachers over there, but Ladies are right, and a good bit of sportsmanship from number five. Toby Shine to seven. Mark Weezy. Change of ball. You've got blood, blood all over the place.
Here we've got Bloodbin here, number 29. It's uh, one of the key players for the Cooks. Showing a bit of blood there on the elbow. He'll get patched up and get back out there. work there from the cookies great work from the number nine oh, huge throw up court a little bit wild there a rise smile from the number 11 saying hey buddy chase that brother um, expecting a little bit too much from the teammate there the legs to number 11 so he's taking a big battling here but tough tough as nails number 11 so we've got 29 changed to 12 so we're gonna change the number there Right, so we've got rid of the shirt covered in blood. We've got a new shirt on there. So T-Man is back on the court for Cookies, number 29, but he is now number 12 there for you viewing. A nice three-point shot there from number 11 again. He's really sharing the scoring here for his uh, Samoan team. Into the mid-teens, I believe. Score at the moment, five minutes left in the game, 108 points to 37. Samoa leading Cook Islands. Again, nice play from the Cookies. They're still hustling there, doing some great work. Again, the basket just not, not working for them. So, uh, finding themselves um, left searching for points here with a a lot of missed baskets, so. Um, nice pass out to Toby off for three. Can't make a count. Nice work there, so you get some big fast breaks. Two on one here from the Samoan team. And here's number 12, T. Mistakes there from number six there, Ono. So he'll be looking to regather his thoughts and just refocus. Nice quick hands from number 11 again. Just picking the pocket of the number six for Cook Islands. Strong, tough play there. Strong drive from the number seven. Not quizzy. More scoring from the number seven for Samoa. Samoa got a big bench here. They've got um, seven on the bench. So they've got a full contingent of 12 players. Oh, almost fingertip dunk. Number three for Samoa there, Egon. Oh, Egon. Number nine for three.
big round of applause for these uh, Samoan players from their supporters here. They've got a good contingent of supporters here. Local community Samoans and a lot of following from further south. A little bit of a hold up here. We've got uh, inbounds. I'm not sure that one. There it was, but we got um, Cook Islands bringing the ball in. Captain Peter. T with the three, number 12. Rebound there from number six, Orno. Back into T, number 12. Showing number 29 on your you know, score sheets here. Had a jersey change, um, unfortunately he had a cut to the elbow with a bit of blood on a singlet, so we had to change the shirt there. Te Rokurangi at the base, oh sorry, at the free throw line for two. Can't make the first one count. One of the leading scorers here for the uh, Cook Islands in game one. Can't make the second one. Toe, oh, that looks like an ankle breaker there. Two minutes 42 left on the clock. On off for two. Just rims off the front of the rim, can't make it sink. And unfortunately, it's been the case in the Last couple of quarters, and there's another three from number five. In a few minutes here, Keith. And the second three-pointer. Yeah, just uh, Cook Islands just losing position again there. So a lot of tight bodies here for the cookies. We've only got a couple of subs, so we've got a take my hat off to them they're still playing quite a high tempo game but unfortunately just the, the arms and the legs just not working for them at the moment there's number 10 with an easy drive through final two minutes one minute 46 left in the game Cookies ball, baseline, backcourt. Number 10, Peter, captain for this Cook Islands team. Drive from number 6, Ono. Just can't get his rebound. Just rims off the front of the rim. Here goes Samoa again on the back. Looking for some showtime. Number 12, can't get the alley oop. Oh, nice spin move there from T. Unfortunately, just can't make that left hand. Good ball, T. Cook Islands ball baseline. One minute 20 left in the game. Score is 119.37 to Samoa over Cook Islands. T man for three. Nice finish there. Brings it to 40. 119.40. And there's number five again. Replies. Beautiful technique. Nice style. Very, very smooth. Here's T-Man on the, on the three-point line again. Pete down low. Fakes, drives, strong. Tough. Good job, Pete. Captain Peter. Taiti for the Cook Islands, finishing the basket, heading to the free throw line for the and one with 54 seconds left on the clock. Ono almost coming up with the rebound. And Sharp moving here from number 10. And there's a foul from 
Number 10. Sharif. Possibly only his third foul. Nice work there, Ayo. Hand it to Ayo. Cleaning up of the court for us. Again, a big shout out to our young Koro Basketball Association mini ballers who have come here and volunteered and, and taking really good care of this court for our players. On over the ball. Looking good from number nine. Can't make it drop again. Good hustle there from number five, Toby, for the Cook Islands. Still hustling to the last seconds. Down by 80 points. 82 points, but they're still hustling. Samoa 124 and Cook Islands 42 at this stage with 15 seconds left on the clock. I'm going to dribble this one out here and um, a big round of applause for both teams here. Um, it's been a great game. Um, the score's blowing out, but it's been exciting. There's been a lot of great stuff there, and um, even the Cook Islands, you know, losing by quite a huge margin can take a lot away from that game. Um, as we said, they're, they're playing up against 12 players, so the rotation process. And, and these Cook Islands players have only just sort of come together recently. Um, look like a few little young players in their team, so it's um, promising for them if they could just get another two or three more players just to rotate their subs a little bit more, keep some fresh legs on the court, they'll do well come the back end of this tournament. So we'll look forward to seeing them again. It'll be a great game between them and American Samoa uh, coming up later on in the week. So again, tomorrow we're back at it, ladies and gentlemen. We have two back-to-back -back women's games tomorrow day two at 12 o'clock we've got American Samoa versus Tahiti and at 2 30 we have Tonga versus Samoa that's in the women's and at five o'clock we have Samoa versus American Samoa at five and the final game of the evening another late one for the cookies Cook Islands versus Tonga so that's us for tonight Manu, thanks for joining us all day it's been a great day four amazing games and again a big shout out to all our sponsors and everyone all right, a few stats here. Top scorer leading the scoring for 27 points. Number 10, Sharif Ahmed Sapaya. So he's with 27 points. Closely followed by number 3, Egon. 17 points for Samoa. And then we have number 11, the high C. And a big round of applause here for the uh, Samoa. Samoa team thanking their supporters, many, many supporters in the crowd. We've got a couple of little bunches there on the left-hand side of your screen and behind next to our cameras that you can't see, so they'll be crossing the court soon. And uh, for the um, Cook Islands team with 16 points, number 12, number 29 at the start, uh, T-Man, as I started calling them throughout the game. Uh, Te Rokurangi. Number 29 at the start. Um, he scored 17, or 16, sorry, followed by number 9, Akira. So that's us for tonight. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us, and um, big shout out to Tahiku Media for all the work today. We'll enjoy working with you over the next four days. All right, Kakiti Ano.